Hi, I'm Jacqueline Stewart. Up next, our TCM Spotlight on Women at Work continues with another comedy from the 1960s. Produced in England in 1963, the movie is Come Fly With Me. It was adapted from a 1960 novel called Girl on a Wing, but the title was changed to capitalize on Frank Sinatra's hit recording. You'll hear the song in the film, but it's sung here by Frankie Avalon. The story follows three female flight attendants who take to the skies and fall in love with a handsome co-pilot, an Austrian baron, and a shy Texan. But once they get back down on the ground, things get a lot more complicated. The leading ladies are played by Dolores Hart, Pamela Tiffin, and Lois Nettleton. Of the three, Dolores Hart was the biggest star, but this turned out to be her last movie role. Six years earlier, she'd made her film debut alongside Elvis Presley in the 1957 musical, Loving You. She'd even gotten to kiss Elvis in her very first picture. Over the next five years, Hart made 10 films, including another one with Elvis, King Creole, and the spring break comedy, Where the Boys Are. But in 1963, after finishing work on the film we're about to see, she turned her back on Hollywood and moved to Bethlehem, Connecticut. She joined the Benedictine Abbey of Regina Laudis and soon became Mother Dolores Hart. While she formally left acting behind and entered into an entirely different lifestyle, movies always remained an important part of her life. She's 85 years old and still an avid movie fan, and she maintained relationships with many of her Hollywood friends. She even continued to be a voting member of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, the only nun ever to hold that distinction. Hart attended the Academy Awards in 2012 when a documentary short about her life was nominated for an Oscar. And in 2014, she joined us here on TCM as a guest programmer with Robert Osborne. Here she is in 1963, also with Carl Malden and Hugh O'Brien in Come Fly With Me. Dolores Hart gave her last big screen performance as Donna in Come Fly With Me. She had only been in movies for six years at this point, but she was ready for a major change. A few years earlier, while performing on Broadway, she was exhausted by her work schedule and a friend suggested that she rest for a few days at the Abbey of Regina Laudis in Connecticut. She found it so peaceful there that she wound up returning whenever she had the chance. Then in 1962, while working on Come Fly With Me, she became engaged and began planning her wedding. She even asked her close friend and co-star Carl Malden if his daughters would serve as bridesmaids. But in the midst of it all, she realized she was on the wrong path. She called off the engagement and left Hollywood returning to the Abbey for good to become a cloistered nun. Still, she remained close with her friends in Hollywood, including actress Patricia Neal. In 1986, Hart and Neal co-founded an open-air theater at the Abbey that still stages productions every year. Up next, Natalie Wood and Tony Curtis co-star in a comedy from 1964, also starring Henry Fonda and Lauren Bacall. Next on TCM, Sex and the Single Girl, then Kisses for My President, and later The Painted Veil. There's no hiding George Brent tonight. 